All right, and am I live again? Yep, I am. Okay, so now I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to go on working on the color switch game clone made with Unity. Sharing my screen right now, present to everyone. You guys should be able to see it now. And uh, this is what we have made so far in Unity. We have the uh, horizontal bars, and we also have the um, rectangle that goes around. And we're able to go through them. Now I'm going to launch the game. I have a gold mod on, so I can just go through all of them, and that's not a problem. So as you can see, I can keep on going. And uh, everything is OK. We also have the triangle. Very cool. I'm, I'm sorry, not the triangle, the, um, the rectangle. And uh, the next one that we're going to work on is the triangle, the cross, and the circle. Now, the triangle is pretty straightforward, the cross too, but the circle is a little bit more involved. And uh, so I'm going to try to get to it as fast as possible. But before I do so, in my prefab, I'm going to add the rectangle as well. I'm going to right click and uh, create a new prefab, create prefab and call it rectangle. Then I'm going to take this rectangle and put it inside of it. All right, done, good. I have two prefabs now. Next, I'm going to create the triangle. So to create the triangle, I'm going to right click in the, um, in the hierarchy and create a new empty object. There we go. And I'm going to name it triangle. And what I'm going to do is position it at 0, 0, 0. All right, so it's right at the center. And I'm going to take some of the uh, bars within the horizontal bar. And what I'm going to do is move them. So I'm going to take these four, so red, yellow, green, and blue. And I'm going to press Command C to copy, and then click on the triangle and paste, Command V to paste. Here we go. Now I'm going to drag and drop them as child or children of the triangle. Here we go. Now I'm going to position them at 0, 0, 0, so that they are the center of the triangle. Excellent. And I'm going to press F to zoom in so that we can see them. Here we go as well. OK, now they all are one behind the other, so we don't really see them. But that's OK. And since it's going to be a triangle, there's going to be only three colors. So I'm going to have to remove one of these colors. And I'm going to remove the blue color. OK, so we only have red, yellow, and green. OK, and I'm going to select the three of them and work on their scale. I'm going to scale it down on the Y to make it a bit thinner. Here we go and make it a bit bigger on the scale X. All right, so it's wider. Here we go. So 1.5 and 0.2 on the Y. Good. Now I'm going to move them so that I get a triangle. I'm going to take the red, and I'm going to rotate it on the Z axis. And I'm going to ro rotate it by negative 45 degrees. And I'm going to move it up and to the right. So that it's like a triangle. Here we go. OK, now the angle is pretty, it's pretty lame. I need to actually um, do more than this. So I believe it will be negative, uh, uh, negative 60, because uh, since there's three angles and they all are equilateral, meaning that they all have the same side, uh, the same angle, which is 180 divided by 3, it's 60. OK, so that would be negative 60. Now I can move it, bring it up. All right. Now it's simple math, right? You know, it's not it's not amazing math. Anyone could uh, come up with this math, right? And the next one is the um, green one, and the angle would be sixty. All right. And I'm going to move it up. That it goes exactly where it needs to be. All right. So as you can see, sixty is kind of okay, but right here at the top, they're like touching, and but they're not touching exactly how I want. Even though the angle is right, this is not perfect. So what I'm going to do is increase the angle. Instead of 60, I'm going to go with, um, let's say, let's, let's try 65 and see how it goes. And same thing for the red one, negative 65. So I'm basically playing with it and see how it goes. And I'm going to move it up. Right, 65 might be a bit too much. Yeah, it is too much. So I'm going to go with, um, let's say, 62.5. And same thing for the red, negative 62.5. So I'm basically tweaking so that it looks kind of good. 
it doesn't have to be perfect in some it's just a training here but feel free to tweak yours so that it's really perfect at this point and um and this will do it's um it's definitely not uh, perfect but uh, i guess this will do for now okay all right 